Hello, welcome back. This is registered Flaming Peacock. Quatrax is 14, accompanied by Flaming Peacock, Alley Monster. <coughs> Where were we going? I don't remember. How long has it been? How long has it been? How long it has been since I've seen her? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just love that scene in the beginning of Silent Hill 2. I got a letter. I got a letter. Not that one. The one after that in the graveyard. Oh boy! There's a door to the side of the other door. It's locked from the other side. Jump, Travis! I'm sorry if I've been just abusively checking my map, but it's the only way I can ever know where to go. That's the way Origins is with me. It's okay, we forgive you. Okay. It's all good. Well, some of you forgive me. Most of you are probably just face flopping every time I do it. All good in Silent Hill mood. Yeah. As much as I enjoy the series, I'm not very astute with knowing where to go. Except for in some of them, like, I don't know, I've only played through Origins once, I've played through most of the Silent Hill games at least twice. Or they're linear enough, I know what's going on. Oh no. Yeah, there's somebody, there's somebody in the apartment with us. It's one of our favorite monsters. Are you sure? I think so. You mean the kind that loves to make love no, to you? No, wait. No, this might not be it. Never mind. Yeah, well, that's the one that I was thinking of. Aww. Well, time to punch him out. Have False you... <laughs> alarm. It's just flat butt McGee over here. If you ever find yourself in this situation, you know, you walk into your motel room, your radio starts staticking, you find a man in a straight jacket made out of flesh inside of your, uh, your bathroom and you have to punch him out. That happens to me a lot more than you would think. <laughs> you look at the toilet and I'm just like, what kind of disgusting person would do such a thing? <laughs> Wait, there's a... Is that a... Get me out of here. I don't know, it looks like a... Was that a copy of Silent Hill 1? <laughs> it looks like a burnt up note, but uh... That would've been funny if they just put a copy of a Silent Hill game in there. Somebody really likes video... It's like they just have a bunch of little models of Silent Hill 1. Be like, somebody really likes Silent Hill. On the bed there's a, um, a plushie of Henry. God. Oh my god, I would jump in that bed so bad. Jeez, somebody keeps some really creepy stuff around their apartment. Oh, what is in here? You need to walk in like... What? Somebody really likes shoes. It's all shoes. It's all shoes! I got a light stand. I can beat people up with it. What's this? It's a scalpel. I will scalpel you all to death. Blah. Um, I will not actually scalpel you. I'm sorry, I even said anything. Uh, the ambient music, it's its pounding through my mind. Wait, was there a note to the side? It kind of, kind of looks like a note to the side. Pizza falls into my mind. Pizza falls into my mind. It's actually these sounds fall into my mind, but I like pizza better. Pizza's nice. Pizza is nice. Oh, we hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Was... Um, yeah, sorry we haven't had an opportunity to record. It's just, I think we've both been kind of busy with stuff and also yeah. things, so. I made yummy food. She did. She's the Thanksgiving person. I'm the, uh... Eating person. I'm the eating person. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was... I was just waiting around for something to do or to eat. Did you, did you have... Actually, I helped with the cooking. You did help. You helped with my mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. That's my favorite part of any Thanksgiving. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Scalpels? I mean, uh... Mashed potatoes? I'm not getting out of this one. Ah, <laughs> oh, Silent Hill Origins. Ooh, I'm on the ceiling. I am on the roof. The roof is on the roof! at each other at the same time. Yeah, I thought you punched his throw up. <laughs> Punch your throw up. Ah. Ew. It's in my eyes. Oh, there's chunks. Ew, there's <laughs> chunks. Yucky. <laughs> oh, the health drinks all the way over there. They did the, uh... <laughs> stab, stab, stab! Arr, 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 arr. 
Travis, you should really learn to alphabetize your things. He should. Yeah, this is this is the most uh, cluttered of the Silent Hills. Mm, yes. I do love this though. He just kind of half-assedly stabs at. Oh. Oh, there's the uh, there's the wedding people. Yeah. Aww. Oh, newlyweds, the cake sagging. I got a light stand. If only I could get that cake. You got birthday cake. Wedding cake. Wedding cake. What does that say? Machine gun. Machine gun. I want a machine gun. Nothing I can use. Well, you're using a scalpel. I'm pretty sure you could use anything. Use that cream. <laughs> Beat something to death with cream. You know, look in the you know, cabinets. You'd think, you'd think that they just got married, that they would have had a nicer bathroom. Exactly. Like with a hot tub or something. Or that they at least, you know, wouldn't have gone to some Motel 6. Some sleazy Motel 6. That's the kind of place that a trucker, uh, or a young and up-and-coming trucker and, and his father would go to. Not, not a newlywed couple. Yes. See, Travis what is kind of um, oh, broke. Yeah, when your weapons break, it's it's very devastating, and so the game screen shakes to reflect that. Ah! Somehow, you hit a box, and then it hit it. Yeah, I hit him through the radiator. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the more wide-open, confusing areas in Silent Hill, but, uh... It's also our Thanksgiving episode, so it makes sense. Yes. Oh, cow. Cow. Ow. Cow. Ow. It makes sense that the word cow is in cow now. Ow. Cow. Punch it in the face. Ow, cow now. Okay, sure. Punch the open space in front of it. Yes. I stomped on the curb next to it, and that was the finishing blow. Nice. I will stomp the curb next to you. Don't we need to focus more on using guns? We do, actually. Yeah, I haven't been uh, doing that as much as I ought to. So I will take this lovely gun. Ah, I hate doors that are locked from the other side. That means I can't open them on this side. Exactly. Um, yeah. I won't, you know, I only have the curry. I don't have any more, like, friable turkey pieces anymore. That stinks. Well, we have plenty of leftovers because it was just the three of us for Thanksgiving. Because we had a... There oh, God! Beast with two backs! Beast with two backs! Bad! 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 Oh, dear God. Even though it died, I'm going to go hey, kill myself. And that is our favorite little buddy. Yeah, favorite little buddy that I like to shoot in the face. Ugh. If you guys look closely, you can tell what it's doing. Yeah. And you can also tell that there's two of them. Yep. I think we should get a closer look at this little creature. Sea stars. See? There's two of them. Whoa. See, there's one butt and then I'll be like... Yeah. <laughs> you can draw your own conclusions about uh, the development of that creature. Mm-hmm. I don't see what has, how that has anything to do with Travis, though. Yeah. Well... Maybe he read a lot of Shakespeare. Oh god, boss, I already fought that I'm not fighting again. And of course that's broken. Oh, room 306. Is this the room that we lived in? Yeah, I think so. Possibly. Oh god! No! Get out of my house! I don't need your symbolism crowding up my apartment. There is no symbolism in this game. Yes, there is. Well, See, some. it's a beast with two backs. That means they're having sex, you know, and it's symbolic of Travis's what? utter lack of sexuality. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's the beginning of the game foreshadowing. Oh, Travis, you should have a sex life. Niner, niner. There you go. Okay. Oh, wait, was that it? Was that the foreshadowing I didn't get in the beginning? <laughs> no, like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one thing, it's like, and all of a sudden, an idea bloomed in Travis's mind. Maybe I should have a sex life. And thus was born the beast with two backs, which I can't remember the name of. To my beloved wife. <laughs> I miss you so intensely. Watching them take you away is like a dagger through my heart. It had to be done, but now I'm so alone. At the doctor's advice, I told Travis you were dead. Maybe you better uh, yours forever. 
Okay, Dad, you and your love poems to people who may or not may not be dead. Well, either way, they're wearing a giant hula hoop skirt, so, uh, or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Your chances are utterly. Are we gonna fight? Not are we good. gonna fight, you know, Daddy soon? No, we still got a ways to go in this area. I hate the other world here. I just want to make that known. And also, we're running out of health drinks, which is not all really good. May I just take a moment to say that I completely missed the time when you went into the other world? I know, I did too. I looked away, and well, <laughs> just, you were just there. I was just looking for items in the bathroom, and then I was going to go back out and see if there was anywhere else I could explore, and then all of a sudden I was in the other world, and I was like, okay, why are you always reloading when I have to shoot things? Uh, Boom. Uh, uh, Boom. Uh, shot you in the leg to you death. You should probably reload. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be more, uh, responsible with my reloading. Really, reloading. What is this? I got a health drink out of the toilet. That's perfectly safe. Oh. Well, Travis doesn't complain. He takes health drinks from where he can. What is it with these people and putting their hands into places they shouldn't? I don't know. They just love toilets. You know what? I love toilets. Oh, yeah. You really like toilets, don't you? I love toilets. Plutonically. And physically. Oops. What about penguins? No, I hate penguins. Well, I'm indifferent to penguins. You know, penguins don't bother me. I don't bother them. The Riverside Motel does not accept responsibility for any theft from rooms or cars left in the parking lot. So if I leave my room in the parking lot, um, I have no responsibility over it. Alright, that works. That, that makes sense, you know. Yes. That is not how a car works. There's no wheels. Uh, would that car be there if we were in the other world? Steph room. It probably would be. Well, we are in the other world. I mean, I mean, Misty world. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's jump into this unending pit. I want to go in there. This pit. It is a pit. Oh, shut up, Travis. I'm tired, though. No, you're not. But I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired, you know. See that cow? He's probably tired. That was quick. Yep. Old Yeller! Oh god. Um. Is he here? I can't see him. Ah! Of course! Of course your camera would suck so much that it would be off screen. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Aww. Um, he was so scared he hurt my ear. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's all good. I can I can still hear. It's fine. I I knew it was going to happen though. I saw it coming because the camera. I was trying to adjust the camera so it would be behind me so I could see in front of me. But no, so I was like, screw that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you just shot him up the ass. I know it is. Silent Hill cows are happy cows. Happy cows. I am out of ammo! No! No! I probably shouldn't kill any more monsters at risk of uh, getting a bad ending. Because, yeah, in this game, uh, depending on how many monsters you kill, you can get a bad ending. And I think at this point we can just run away from all of them. Yeah, probably. Assault rifle. I'm gonna save that for the boss, actually. Do we have anything for that? Ah! Hi. Hey, what happened to, you know, not killing things? Well, he surprised me. <laughs> I think you should put it away. Yeah. Put it away. No. But I need it. See? Otherwise, I would have had to take damage to get that. And I don't want to take damage. We have to stop anyways. So, uh, next oh, wow. time... Next time, meet us through the wire mesh grating. Not even wire mesh, but uh, the grating. The grating. The grating. The grating <laughs> of Silent Hill. It's so grating on my, my brain. Bye. Bye. <laughs>